Now, deciding who to vote for for mayor by November 3rd may very well come down to how you feel about somebody not named Ted Wheeler or Sarah Ayanna Roan. It might come down to how you feel when you hear me say this, Police Commissioner Joanne Hardesty. Of course, right now, Mayor Wheeler is Portland's police commissioner, and he has no plans of giving that up uh, to anybody. He has said time and time again, but Sarah Ayanna Roan has been clear also. If she is elected, Joanne Hardesty will be the new commissioner of the Portland Police Bureau. Now, keep in mind, Hardesty is a first-time commissioner in the middle of her first term, a term where she has been extremely vocal and critical of the Portland Police Bureau. She's been at the center of local discussions around police reform and that recent cut of $15 million from the Bureau's budget. And even though Mayor Wheeler has said he has no plans of handing that role of police commissioner on to her. Hardesty has still released a hypothetical transition plan if she got the job that she has been vying for. So in a few minutes, you're going to hear from uh, both Mayor Wheeler and Sarah Iannarone. I talked to both of them about the, let's call it the Hardesty factor in their election. But first, I thought it was only fair to get her feelings, Joanne Hardesty's feelings on this topic right out in the open. So here's her take on potentially being such a vital player in such a consequential election. I'll work with whoever shows up in January. And I'm going to keep doing the work that I'm doing to transform policing in the city of Portland. I don't have the police bureau under my portfolio now, but I don't think you can point to any person on the city council who's done more to change policing uh, than me and my time here at City Hall. So I'd love to have it in my portfolio because I think I could make a lot of changes a lot quicker um, than I can make not being the police commissioner. But whoever shows up in January, I'll be ready to work with and uh, we'll continue this transformation. OK, Commissioner Hardesty there. Now let's get to my conversations with both of Portland's mayoral candidates. Yesterday, I talked one on one with Mayor Wheeler. Hardesty's role in all of this came up in our extended interview, and he had a lot to say about her role on city council and also about her gaffe earlier this year when she told Marie Claire magazine with no evidence at all that Portland police officers started a fire in their union headquarters during a violent protest, something that she later apologized for because it wasn't true at all. The mayor defended her for saying that, or at least after she apologized, but stopped short of saying anything definitive about commissionership. Listen here. How important do you think Joanne Hardesty will be to this mayoral election? I don't know. Um, you know, that's that's anybody's guess. You know, I, I get along with with Commissioner Hardesty. We we agree on some things. We disagree on others, but we have a good professional working relationship and I expect that to continue. Well, she came out with her kind of plan. She continues to lobby to be police commissioner. She had her kind of four or five point plan. And you have said time and again that it kind of mirrors things that you're doing or have already done. Um, you have also said, and you, you said to the Willamette Week, that she has made some statements that make it problematic for her to be the police commissioner. And I assume you're talking about the interview she did in Marie Claire magazine where she made some accusations against police starting fires that were, were untrue. Does that still weigh into your decision making when it comes to her taking that type of leadership role? I, I believe all of us under this level of duress in this situation where the public spotlight is on us constantly, where we are trying to work through multiple challenges together, we all make mistakes, myself included. I, I have no monopoly on the truth. I am certainly human. I make my own share of mistakes. The question is, how do you handle those mistakes? Commissioner Hardesty walked those statements back. She made it clear publicly that she was mistaken. She apologized for making those comments. and. Uh, I, I hold her at her word that she understands that those comments were inaccurate and potentially hurtful. So we've moved on. Now the question is, where do we go from here? And I've told Commissioner Hardesty, as I've told other folks, let's wait and see who is on the council come January. Let's have a council-wide discussion about the best way to allocate bureaus. I've made it clear that all bureaus, including the police bureau, are on the table for consideration. All right, so that's Mayor Wheeler's take on Hardesty's lobbying to be the police commissioner. Reluctant to say one way or another whether he supports her for it, though he has had plenty of chances to give her the job. After I talked to him, I talked to Sarah Ayanna Roan, and I wanted to get her take on the mayor's answer that you just listened to and her support of Hardesty for the role of police commissioner. Here's Sarah Ayanna Roan. Do you think that he is being political there, or do you think that there is a potential that if he did win, she would be given that kind of position? I mean, of course, he's being political there. That's 
all we get from this person. And so I don't know why we would expect anything different. You know, he's been very dismissive of her. She stepped up and offered to help in the middle of a crisis, which was clearly out of his hands um, in terms of being able to manage it. And the disregard, I think, for someone of his power and his position to say, I hear you, that you want to step up and take leadership on this role, and I will do what I can to support you in that, would be what he should be doing as mayor, in my opinion, and what I will be doing as Portland's next mayor, which is saying, we're going to tap into your capacity here, we're going to tap into your experience, your knowledge, and your connection to the community, we'll put you in this role, make sure that you're supported fully in that role, that you have the full backing of city council, and then I'm going to use everything that I can do across the other city bureaus to make sure that you're successful there. That's the kind of leadership that we need right now. And it's one reason, again, Wheeler's failure to act like that is why I believe that we're in the situation that we're in. He's admitted it himself. He tries to go it alone. He doesn't tap into his colleagues for help. And then when he fails, uh, 100% of that failure is on him, and he doesn't know what to do with it at that moment. All right, mayoral candidate Sarah Ayanna Roan there weighing in. Now, you can check out KGW YouTube channel for our full interviews with Wheeler, Ayanna Roan, and many of the other candidates who you're going to see name, their names sitting on your ballots. While you're there watching, I hope you hit subscribe.